Augmented reality is the future of office workspaces, but is it actually close to being ready yet? What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews here, and today we are checking out a software called Spacetop by the company Sightful, which is a software platform that transforms AR glasses into a private multi-windowed workspace you can use anywhere. So let's check it out. In this video, I'll have a laptop and AR glasses that I'll briefly cover, but this review is mainly focused on the Spacetop software. I wanna show you its functionality, then talk about when and where it actually makes sense to use and how good it actually is. Now, this is not the same as AR with something like the Quest 3, which I also have. The big difference is that the Quest 3 uses external cameras to capture your environment and replicate it inside the screens, whereas a setup with these AR glasses and space top allows you to see your actual environment around you, which is nice to reduce eye strain and remove any latency issues from reacting to the world around you. The setup I'm using is an HP laptop paired with Xreal Air 2 Ultra AR glasses. The most important thing to note is that at the time that I'm filming this video, Spacetop is currently intended for use on Intel Ultra laptops only as it utilizes that architecture. And the main difference is that these Ultra laptops have a built-in AI processor, advanced graphics, and newer chip designs that handle Spacetop's 3D window system and spatial environment smoothly. And you're gonna see some of that in just a little bit. Also, it is not currently usable on Mac OS, which I am kind of bummed about, but hopefully we can see that change in the future. There is an anticipated timeline of 2020 26, but nothing more specific on that just yet. Now diving into the core features and setup, this is where it's just extremely simple. One cord from your laptop to the glasses, you launch the app and you're in. And most of the time it remembers your layout from the last session, which is really nice because I don't wanna have to constantly rearrange my monitors every time I sit down at my desk. And so essentially what Spacetop is, is a giant Windows management system. You have about a hundred inch screen of real estate that you're gonna be working with that you can change the distance and size of, and I'll show you some of that functionality in just a little bit. But the window management with Spacetop is great great because it allows you to essentially have unlimited windows depending on how large you actually make them. And let me tell you, 100 inches of total screen size when you put it right up against your face, that's a lot of real estate to look around at. I do like Spacetop's UI and how you can kind of see the windows snap together softly so that you can keep a nice and organized look to them. However, one thing I would like to see improved on is how the windows actually interact with each other. For example, if you increase the size of a window, it will just layer on top of other windows, forcing you to readjust the other windows. I would love to see an option in the settings implemented where I could toggle some type of conform abilities where the windows would move around each other in the future. One thing I did notice is that there is a slight drift that happens sometimes as you move your head where the windows slowly move to the right. I did already alert Spacetop to this and they are looking into it, but this is actually one of the best parts of investing into a software is that it will be constantly improved with future updates and rollouts. So it's safe to say that anything I don't like about the software today could be irrelevant in the future as the founding company Sightful continues to improve the system. That's one of the advantages that buying a software has over hardware is that once you buy a physical product, you're stuck with whatever issue it has. So I anticipate a lot of this is going to be worked out of the system in time. Now, one of my absolute favorite features of Spacetop is actually the workspace controls with their macros. Pressing the control windows and shift plus the arrow keys allows you to tilt, raise or move the screen closer and farther. You can even lean back and angle your whole workspace upwards, which is huge for ergonomics. This is going to be one of the core strengths for Spacetop overall, as it is designed to move with you. And we'll talk about more about the travel mode in just a little bit, but being able to quickly move and resize your windows is incredibly important. There is a bit of a learning curve to memorizing and using the macros, but once you have those down, it's great just to adjust your monitor height or lean back and watch a movie. And you can also push them further away from you to see more windows at once, regardless of how far something is in front of you, which makes it great for small space settings like airplanes or car rides. Speaking of travel, there is also a switch that allows you to turn travel mode on or off. What travel mode does is it locks in your virtual screens in place so they don't float or shift around when you're on the move, like in a car or a plane or a train. So instead of your screens bouncing around as your head moves, they stay fixed relative to your view, which makes it way easier to work in motion without getting disoriented. Now, one of the biggest concerns I think a lot of people will think of is what is the privacy of using a device like this? One key aspect of Spacetop is what is the world going to be shown on your laptop screen while you have the glasses covering your eyes? 
The screen does not mirror your laptop. Everything you open is only visible inside the AR space. This is actual privacy, not just a screen filter, which I really like. Also, there is a built-in dimming function built into the glasses that changes from see-through to blackout so that you can feel more focused instead of seeing the world around you. Although this is not a full headset like VR rig, so you do actually have peripheral vision outside of the glasses. Now, I was actually incredibly surprised at how viewable the screens were in bright outdoor settings. You can easily take this setup to a coffee shop patio and have 10 monitors in front of you while only looking like you're wearing sunglasses. And I think that's one of the cooler things about a device like this is that you low key have a ton of work in front of you and it just looks like you're chilling. Now, speaking of privacy, I do want to tell you about today's sponsor, Proton VPN. If you care about privacy, especially when you're working on public Wi-Fi at airports, coffee shops, or hotels, then this is one of the best tools you can have running in the background. And it pairs perfectly with something like Spacetop. I downloaded Proton VPN right onto the laptop side of the setup and that's it. It runs like any other app, no weird workarounds. And since Spacetop is literally built for mobility, you'll probably be using it on the go, right? So that means you're gonna be hopping on public networks constantly. Proton VPN keeps all of your data encrypted and your browsing anonymous, even when you're connected through sketchy hotel Wi-Fi or random hotspots. Plus it's developed by the same team behind Proton Mail, which is known for its privacy first approach. So this isn't some fly by night VPN and it's been around for a while. So if you're using a futuristic travel device like Spacetop, pairing it with Proton VPN just makes sense. I'll drop a link below so you can get 64% off if you wanna check it out for yourself. So there's a lot of things that I absolutely love about Spacetop and this setup. I've had a ton of fun in the last week of testing it out that I've had with it, but it's not perfect. So let's discuss where I think there's room for improvement. Starting out, it's gonna be a limited field of view. You'll move your head a lot to catch things that are not in the center of your screen. This is really more of a limitation of the X-Real glasses themselves because you kind of have this little box that you're looking through with the glasses, but this is really on the hardware side of the AR industry. So as that improves, this should get much better uh, and not be an issue in the future because I think it'll work great with peripherals once they're available. But as of right now, you have to physically move your head and look at each specific thing. But an example of where this is a problem is let's say, for instance, you have your email outside of your field of view and you don't have sound alerts on. You straight up just won't see anything pop into your inbox unless you turn your head to look at it. I use a five monitor setup for my full-time job and I didn't realize how often I'm relying on my peripheral vision while working until I started using the Spacetop software and I wasn't seeing things outside of my vision. And so it's not really a knock on Spacetop, it's just saying that this is a limitation right now. And then moving on, earlier in the video, I already talked about how I'd like to see improvement with how Spacetop's windows interact with each other, but I would like to add to it a little bit. When you change through the three modes of light pass through in the glasses, the no darkness mode where there's no like tinting on your vision, it makes your windows transparent. So if you have a browser in front of you, you can see through it and it makes it just kind of opaque. I would like to see an option to make them solid instead. And I think there will be a split audience on this and, and hear me out on this. Some people will like to be able to see through their windows and what's behind them. This is great for safety and awareness reasons. But for me, it makes it difficult to easily see your windows. So I would prefer them to be more solid. I think it is an easy software upgrade where you can have like a like kind of like a toggle switch like I was saying earlier, where you can make them more solid or more transparent. But for me personally, uh, I'd like to be able to see the world around me and have solid windows. Now, what I won't knock the software on just yet are a few of the bugs and kinks that still need to be worked out. Things that are gonna be solved probably within the next couple of months, I would say. Things like this for me include like the subtle window drift, which is solvable by holding both shift keys and it positions it right back in front of you. I don't think that drift's gonna be a long-term issue at all. Also how the app doesn't immediately open sometimes there's gonna be some stability improvements that we'll see in the future and also just how the windows interact with each other will be a big improvement that I would expect to see in the future remember this is a brand new software hitting the market so we're really exploring it at its foundational level so whatever updates we see from here will be improvements now let's talk about price because this is going to be a threshold for most people as of right now for $900 you get the X real air 2 ultra AR glasses and a 12 month subscription to space top software after that, it's $200 per year to continue using the platform. And this is on top of having a laptop that can support this setup. So the initial buy-in will be steep for the average person. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of annual subscriptions for a service like this. However, I do get it as with Spacetop expanding into the Mac OS, 
other AR glasses and improving the software consistently, it will take overhead. So I think the value is actually there. I think my initial hesitation is simply from the fact that it feels like you're having to pay an annual subscription for a desktop interface and you have to remind yourself that's not what this is. But as far as who this setup is for, it's obviously going to vary greatly depending on need and budget, but the traveling professional would benefit greatly from this and it's a no brainer for traveling professionals to consider it. I can actually see large companies buying an army of these things for their traveling workforce so that they have full setups while on planes and cars and in hotels but I also see the value for an average consumer who wants to watch a movie without wearing an entire headset. And we all saw the weirdos walking around with the Apple Vision Pros on in public, and while this software isn't that robust and usable, it's much more compact and low key, which adds to its overall value. So overall, Spacetop is not perfect, but it's very functional, and I enjoyed the absolute heck out of using it, and will continue to do so. There's really nowhere to go but up for the platform, so while there are opportunities to improve the experience, it's already a really solid start for this company, and I'm excited to see how it Advances. But I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments below and what your thoughts are on augmented reality overall. But thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. I'll see you next time. So real quick before you go, YouTube thinks that you might like this video or this video. So if you want to keep exploring the channel, then be sure to check those out. Have a good one.